Previously on War Thunder. I died. I'm not good. I don't know what I'm doing. Three kills. That is so fun to play against. Oh, that's what it is. It's the start of day two, and we're back on the grind, and we've played 19 battles. We've died 37 times, spawned 38 times, and we've got 11 kills. So not too good, but today we should hopefully get our APFS DS, and then hopefully we'll be doing good from there. But we'll get into it, see how we could do, and yeah, wish me luck, eh? <laughs> On a band and factory, so this isn't too bad. A few moments later. That's fun, isn't it? He got my commander. What absolute fun. That's great, dude. That's really awesome. Wasn't this fun? You having fun? No. Oh no. Golden Quarry. Still don't have our APF SDS. I'm sick of helicopters. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I hit it. Not that hitting it did anything. Oh. Dude out that way. Ah, oh, hi. I can't aim backward. Whiffed because I couldn't see through a fucking bush, man. Skill issue. Crit hit. Let's go. The fucking tent at it off. He's not looking. Target destroyed. Let's go. Never mind. Back to hang up. That's not good. I'm gonna die. I got a kill. Oh, poop.
crit hit. I actually went through and did damage that time. Yes! Fake! I give up. <laughs> if I get killed by this K50, I'm gonna finish this video, edit it, and upload it. I said it. I did say it. Do you really? I wasn't kidding. Tagged him. My statement still stands if I get killed by a helicopter. You're a fucking loser. Okay, so I've taken a bit of time to think after that last match that we had and I've thought of a couple of things on why I'm not really having fun at top tier. Obviously, we've got me with my skill issue. I do need to learn how to play top tier better. That's fine. The issue that I'm having right now is that this thing gets its heat modification off the bat, right? It's got heat in its first tier as well. This heat just has more explosive mess, I believe. I haven't looked at it. I don't care enough. Heat's garbage. My issue is that the APFS DS round is in the third row of the modifications. Now, if you look at the USSR squadron vehicle, the T-80 UK, it gets one of its two APFS D rounds or DS rounds in the first modification line. Yes, this one isn't as good as the later one, but the fact of the matter is it's still APFS DS in its first line of modifications, which is unfair, in my opinion. Unfair, and it sucks. Because um, again, when you're playing... I played this solo, which meant I was up to the leisure of whatever the Gaijin snail put me against. This means that 9 times out of 10, when you're playing USA, you're going to go up against Russia. The issue there being most USSR tanks and Chinese vehicles as well, they have, and wait for it, they are covered in ERA. ERA on the front here, these panels here, ERA, those panels there, ERA, ERA, ERA everywhere pretty much. Some even get kits which cover the full side. I can't remember which tank it is completely which has that. It might be the terms, I'm not sure. Point being, if I hit this with my heat, yeah, I can go through the side here, but again, that's a skill issue, but the part here though is that if I hit this, my heat is, it means nothing, pretty much. If my heat shell hits here anywhere where there's ERA, my shell does nothing and I damage the ERA. Yeah, that's good. I get assists, but I don't get the, the kill shot or anything. I could hit here. I'll get the assist for taking out this clump of ERA, but big boy over here is going to turn and look at me. And I will send you to Jesus. Next issue on why I'm not having fun is this thing right here. Again, I'm versing mostly USSR, which has this as its pain in the ass. This thing, you can spawn off the bat. This thing has these air to ground missiles. How many? 12. 12, these can take out about one tank per one or two missiles, which means you've got tw 6 to 12 kills, roughly, lined up here, if somebody has a vague idea of what they're doing, right? Which is bullshit. I'm sure I've shown it in the video. There's a lot of footage to go through, but I'm sure I've shown it how much I suffer at the hands of helicopters and there's not much I can do with my 50 cal. 
There's not much I can do with my 50 cal on the roof here. Especially considering how easily this area here gets penned and my commander and my whole turret crew dies just from helicopters alone. Again, those are just my two issues. I know I have to learn it to play top tier a little bit better. However, even though I am not having fun, we still have a lot of modifications to go, especially considering I said this was a stock to spade grind. So if you want to see a part two, just let me know, like, comment, all that shit. Please give me your tips in the comments as well. I would love them. Give me tips on how to deal with helicopters and everything. I need it, as you can probably tell. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a laugh because I sure didn't. Enjoy yourselves. Have an amazing day. Thanks and bye.